This vehicle is equipped with a smaller mouse up on the steering wheel. Back button, multi-information page, as well as your lane keep assist and your radar cruise buttons. For example, you have this really neat looking multi-information display between the tachometer and speedometer. And if I use the arrow, either arrow, it's going to go through different tabs. And the tabs are at the top. Currently we are looking at the compass, the audio, the cruise indicator, the messages, in case if we had low fuel, low air pressure, maybe low battery. And then we have our settings where we can go in and customize our vehicle. Go into PCS, maybe create different sensitivities. Lane departure assist. Steering assist is turned on, alert, either by vibration or by sound, sensitivity, high, sway warning, on, gives you a photo of a coffee cup when you're going out of the lane too many times, suggesting it might be a good time to turn and pull over or go into a rest stop, gas station, get some caffeine or call it a night by stopping in at the local hotel motel. Meter settings, language, if it's English, French, or Spanish, units, kilometers, or miles an hour. The eco light can be turned on or off depending upon if one wants to see the eco light. Switch settings, driver information one, two, and three. This is new for 2017. They've included a driver information three. And what that means this information tab when pressed you can set up different um, overall views of information and it kind of makes sense because we do have three driver memory condition memory seat positions right over here on the door so that is new for 2017 Also, there is a pop-up display information. You can see that you have interstate guidance on, incoming calls, and adjust the brightness. Those are going to be different views that you can see. Here's our information tab. And you can tell that we're on information because there's a little lit up eye in the upper left-hand corner. And then I can use my downward arrow, 281 miles to empty, 12.9 miles per gallon, eco indicator, tire pressure, there's the sway warning for the lane departure tool. blank screen and back to your average after reset miles per gallon. It's kind of like an instant miles per gallon. The sway warning, when you use this tool, this button here, we have a camera located underneath the rear view mirror. It's a little hard to see, but this big black space here holds a camera. And what happens is when you're driving down the road, and you start to leave the lane, the vehicle will automatically turn itself back into the lane, but this button has to be turned on. And you'll see that it's on just below the park indicator, and right above the maintenance indicator for 9,850. The cruise control, when pressed, the on button. You'll see that it says radar ready. You'll get up to speed. Tap the bar down towards your lap to set. 
To cancel for any reason, you pull the lever back towards you. Resume. And off you go again. Now this vehicle is also equipped with something called standard cruise. If you look on the dash, you'll see that you have a little car in the green over top of a tachometer. That is your radar cruise. If I don't want radar cruise, I'm going to turn off cruise control by selecting this end button, or this little power button on the end. It says on and off. I'm going to hold this button on or in for about three seconds and now you'll see a little tachometer without a car and that's traditional cruise so again I press the button on one time quickly and there's your radar cruise and when you get up to speed you set and now you can use the distance the distance will be shown between the tachometer and the speedometer. And I'm just hitting this button three times to get the dis different distances.